Good morning, you guys. Before we get to this video, I have to get Weston. Why is the garage light on? I have to get Weston some milk. I'm going. He wants some. I didn't say what it was because if you're a mama multiples, you know <laughs> you cannot say it out loud or the other ones are going to start baking. All right, you guys. We are going to be doing my, I almost said 38, not 38, Grizzly, my 36-week pregnancy update. I was working on his school workbook. Maya's over here working on her school workbook and Weston's just right here looking at himself in the cabinet. I am 36 weeks pregnant and that's actually a cabinet it is a cabinet which means we have three, four weeks four weeks until my due date um i had my 36 week checkup i go every week now and baby boy is doing really really good he was measuring in at 38 weeks uh, we did another group b strep test um they did one at 33 weeks when we went into the hospital for contractions um, but it only lasts for so long so she did another one to make sure we're all good because it can be negative and positive I was actually positive with Maya and had to have the antibiotics during labor with Maya um, and then no one West and I wasn't positive hoping it's the same as the boys not positive don't have to get antibiotics but I will know at my next appointment. Um, she did check for dilation and my cervix is still kind of pretty high up there and she could not, she could not reach it. She had like, me like put my fists under my back to like help raise up my back and like, I don't know. So um, that's a little disappointing. She said if anything, maybe a one. Um, but I mean, who knows? Like dilation has nothing to do with when you go into labor. I said I could go into labor that night. Dilation has nothing to do with anything. You can be a zero, completely close to going into full blown labor. So that made me feel a little bit better, even though I am only 36 weeks. So I still have a couple weeks to go. Um, she also said that baby was not yet engaged into um, like, is it the birth canal? I don't want to say the birth canal because then it feels like he's coming out, like into the pelvis. Um, which is strange to me because I do have pelvic pain. I do know he does flip all the time, like I can tell. Sometimes I'll feel hiccups at the top, then I'll feel hiccups at the bottom. So I do know he's still flipping and I, the pelvic pain has actually gotten a little bit better. Some days I don't even feel it and then other days are worse. So I'm guessing the days that are worse is when he is head down and like lower into the pelvic area. But I have been feeling a lot more lightning crotch. If you guys don't know what lightning crotch is, it's just like you get these sudden shooting sharp pains right down in there. It almost feels like it's in your crotch area, like inside. Like to me, it's like shooting pain in the cervix. That's what it feels like for me. And I have been getting that a lot recently. So I'm hoping that's a good sign. I do have a ball to bounce on and so I, I'm going to be getting that out to start bouncing on it to start dropping him down into um, the pelvic area. It is harder this time around because we went on so many walks with the other three kids. They were all three summer babies and so at this time at 36 weeks every night that Gage got home from work we were taking walks around the neighborhoods um, around the block like we were constantly taking walks and we haven't really done any of that because it's literally zero degrees outside like it's way too cold to be taking a walk so um, I think I'm going to be telling Gage like we need to start going to like up to the high school to walk around the track or going up to the mall during the day and do some mall walking like I need to start walking because I know that's probably what helped a lot with the other kids. Other than that, blood pressure was good. Um, I gained eight ounces, eight ounces since my last appointment, but these appointments were a little close because they're now weekly and like the way they could get me in like was the end of the week and then the beginning of the following week. So it was only like a four, five, four day difference, five day difference. Um, so I gained eight ounces. So that puts my weight gain at 16 pounds so far. Other than that, everything went good with the appointment. 
Now on to my symptoms. My symptoms, you guys. <laughs> Man, my belly's been itchy a lot right at the top. It's dry skin. It's not every day. Um, it's not all day. It's just, it's so cold and so dry here. And my belly just itches. And it doesn't help that another one of my symptoms, I this is another thing that I didn't think I would go through with this pregnancy because of how I was feeling at the beginning. Now towards the end, it's so crazy that it's like, I have to do it. And it's showering every single night. I can't wash my hair every single night. If I wash my hair every day it, it gets way too like it, I can't do that um, so I have to at least get in a warm shower like I have to have the water running on me I have to have that warm shower every single night it like relaxes me and at the beginning of my pregnancy I could not do that it made me sick it made me dizzy like the hot water like I had to have Gage be in the bathroom with me because I was so afraid I was going to pass out from the heat and it wasn't even that hot. But now, like, I don't know what changed. I don't know if it was anxiety. I don't know what changed, but now being further along in my pregnancy, it could be because my hormones are starting to level out. Um, but I don't know. Now it's fine. I can completely do it on my own. I have to do it every single night. It can be hot water. Like, I just have that urge to shower every single night just to have that warm water running on me and that doesn't help with my dry skin like I have dry skin right here and right here and then on my belly and sometimes it'll be twice a day I shower because in the mornings like it's just not not ideal but yeah that was one of my pregnancy symptoms another pregnancy symptom that I've never experienced is like sense of smell like I have heard that's a thing, and I've heard a lot, a lot of pregnant women, like, that's like a main pregnancy symptom for everybody, but it's not a main preg pregnancy symptom for me, and I swear, it hit me out of nowhere, like, all of a sudden, I'm like, Gage, do you smell that? Do you smell that? Do you smell that? It smells gross. Do you smell that? Do you smell that? And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I can literally smell everything constantly getting up at night to go potty my cravings are sweets i want everything sweet i want cookies i want ice cream i want like chocolate pudding like everything anything sweet that's what i want i don't really have any food aversions just everything sweet i want oh i do get um acid reflex if i eat like it sounds so weird but like if I eat certain foods right before bed, I get acid reflux. The other night, I had one of those Hint Waters. It was the apple one, and it gave me reflux. It was terrible. It gave me reflux that night. Um, sometimes, if I have, like, a little bit of ice cream before bed, it'll give me reflux, which is weird because dairy is supposed to help with, like, heartburn and stuff. But, anyways, yeah, sometimes I'll deal with that. Um, nausea has kind of came back into the picture. Um, just a little bit only in the mornings once I get up and out of bed and moving I'm completely fine But I am going to show you guys my 36 week belly um, I still can't believe Charlie's measuring 38 weeks. That's crazy. We need to pack our hospital bag soon Oh, I do want to add in here at the end of the video um, We did pick up some stuff for Charlie from Target the other day And I do want to add it in here because it's always fun to show you guys um, New things for the baby because we haven't bought much. I mean we have a lot of stuff but it's always fun so I'm gonna show you guys that after I show you my belly here is my 38 week belly or 38 weeks I keep saying 38 weeks 36 week belly and you can see my belly button popping through so that is my 36 week belly I still get questions on why I don't share my bear belly and that's perfectly fine because I know we have a lot of new um, subscribers and it's just for personal reasons that's just I'm just not comfortable sharing like my bare belly <clears throat> sometimes like very 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 rarely I will on like our Instagram but not not a lot that is my 36 week pregnancy bump so I'm gonna go show you guys all the stuff that we got for Charlie well this is one of the new items that we got for baby Charlie it is in size three months and the reason we got it is because Target was having a sale and these were only $6.99 so I thought it was cute it has a zipper which we prefer the zippers instead of the buttons because it's easier in the middle of the night um, so yeah we have this one Weston actually picked 
this one out. <laughs> All right, and then in here, Maya's gonna help me. Never had one. This is our first time Hi. buying a bathtub because we got a pink one at my baby shower with Maya, and then we've just used that one for all of them, and it's just, it's so hard to use that pink mesh one, and so we bought this one. This was on sale at Target for $16. And it, and it didn't have this. No, yours was like a pink one that, it was just very, as you guys, it was like the really, I don't know, you've seen it in our old vlogs, but yeah. this is just um, the first year's newborn to toddler tub. Um, I'm guessing this right here is for the newborn, this little um, mesh, mesh net and what I like about this never had one of these before so we're just doing it right now yeah so what I like about this is it doesn't have to go in the tub it can sit on our kitchen sink it can sit right on the floor there is a drain right here so we just have to fill it up oh my gosh that's so cute <laughs> So what our plan is, the plan when we like were looking at tubs was, especially for this one, the boys will go in the bathtub, Maya will go in our shower, and then um, I will put Charlie like just in the hallway or in the bathroom, like just right on the floor, not in the tub, so we can get all the kids bathed at once. And it's nice because we can do that with this. We can set it anywhere, fill it with water, clean them, and drain it so that is super nice and then you can you know put it in the sink or on the counter and it goes up to toddler but honestly once he starts sitting up pretty well and supported then he'll go in the tub and then Noah will start taking showers um but we'll use this probably for the first eight to ten months and guys you can and Barry can try to lay back that's super cool and I like the little dream because it's a fish. Yep, and then the kids can also help too. They don't have to, you know, lean over the tub. We can like, yeah. you know, fill this with water and the kids can sit on the side and help give them a bath. And there's, you know, this little area right here to put our soap. And so it's just really nice. And then up there we also picked up some uh, newborn diapers. Hi. We have formula for the baby. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look, come here, look at it. I've got yeah, lotion. we do. Ready for you. Okay. Yeah. Are you in the baby bathtub? That that's the case. That's for baby brother. <laughs> Can you give baby kiss? Give baby kiss. Oh, give baby kiss. No, I did. Oh, give baby kiss. This is the small one. Aww. Good. Good big brother. Aww. Good sister. When baby Johnny comes, I'm totally going to help out. <laughs> okay. And the other two things that we got, these were in our closet. We have baby stuff literally all over. Um, we just got these hooded towels. These are modern baby. These are from Marshalls. I thought that was a really good price. $7.99 for a three pack. And they're like the good quality towels. And they're cute. Just says new to the crew. And we needed new towels. Like we needed some new baby towels. Usually it's like $7.99 for one at like Target. So yeah, Marshalls. Definitely check out Marshalls. And then we picked up some of these Even Flow Balance Plus. Is that how it how it is? Is that how you say it? Um, it's just a pack of three bottles. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, I do plan on formula feeding Charlie. I'm obviously going to breastfeed at the hospital and breastfeed for maybe like, I don't know, like a week or so, just like a little bit. But the plan for Charlie is to be formula fed. And that's just our decision. I'm not going to go into it. Um, and so we needed to buy bottles because we didn't have bottles. And this is the first time I'm opening it because I want to see what they look like. That's what it looks like. And these are the 3 to 9 ounce. I'm wondering if I need to get like a smaller bottle or if these will be fine. It says 0 month plus slow flow so I feel like let me know do I need to get like a small bottle like a three to five ounce for him for when he's a newborn or is this fine I mean it's zero month and it's a slow flow slow flow so it should be fine but yeah we also picked up some bottles we'll have to get more bottles but I didn't want to buy a bunch because 
I know babies can sometimes not take certain bottles. That is everything that we've gotten for Charlie. I don't know what else we're going to be getting. Um, there was one more thing. Oh, I want to get a car seat cover. And then we don't really need baby shampoo or baby lotion. We already have that because of Weston and the kids. So I'm pretty sure we are set. Now we just need to get everything washed. We're still not, not everything's washed yet. Um, and set up and bags packed. So I'm just going to end today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll talk to you in our next video. Bye guys. Out on a road that I built with my own two hands. I met friends on the way people chose to make a stand. I felt strong in the sun as I walked on to pass